when I was six years old, I had this crazy, crazy dream. And I don't know, maybe some of you uh, can relate to some of this, but I was the observer in this dream. And so I felt totally helpless. I was watching these events transpire. And what was going on is I was watching these people that were standing right by the edge of this cliff. And down at the bottom of this cliff was a bunch of water and there were like jagged rocks and and sharp things. And so anybody that fell off of this cliff would fall to their... Absolutely. And again, I kept watching this and I had this horrible feeling of hopelessness. Anybody ever have a dream like that? Who can relate to that? Say I. And for whatever reason, I kept watching these characters that were playing this game where they would like stand near the edge of this cliff and they would walk backwards. And I remember watching this happen and they kept getting closer and closer to this to the edge and I kept wanting to shout out, stop, don't get any closer. If you do, you are going to die die. How many of you have ever felt that way when it comes to any of the fears that you've written down? Like the more, the closer you get to actually taking that leap of faith, to actually taking action with with regards to that fear that something terrible is going to happen. Who's ever experienced that before? Say I. And again, the emotion of this fear kept coming back to me over and over and over again, and it kept me awake at night literally for years. There were so many times for years after that that I would be going to fall asleep at night and the image of this nightmare would pop into my mind again and it would keep me from falling asleep. That was until I decided to do something a little different. And there was one night years later that for whatever reason, I got this crazy idea in my head that I was going to transform the image of this nightmare just a little bit. And in my mind, I imagined that the cliff suddenly had this ridiculously ugly looking face on it. And that any time somebody would actually come close to the cliff, the cliff would go, hi, how you doing? Tell the person next to you, hi, how you doing? And what was crazy is it never bothered me again. I never had that nightmare again because anytime I began to feel the emotion of that fear starting to come up within me, I just imagined this crazy looking face on the edge of the cliff and I thought, oh, it's a friendly cliff. It's Casper the Friendly Cliff. I mean, this can't harm me. And turning this into something kind of humorous actually eliminated the charge of the fear. And I never struggled with that fear again. 